I'm sorry we've been away for such a long time. We've been on holiday to Wales and we've got lots of vlogs coming to show you about all that. But we've got a real student in the kitchen today. Hello. This is Chloe. And Chloe is up from university now doing a bit of revising. And she's at the University of Kent. Is that, how, is that the yeah. title? Yeah, the Kent, yeah. yeah. And um, we're just going to be doing a few pancakes now with some chocolate sauce. But I thought I'd interview Chloe for the vlog and find out what students really eat. Chloe, what do you cook at night at Canterbury? Uh, well, normally I I try to make sure that I cook for myself. Yes. Uh, so I generally just have like pasta or rice, so kind of curry dishes and Italian stuff and just things like that, just throwing ingredients yes. into it. Yeah. That's, pot that's exactly what it's all about. So that yeah. sounds quite healthy. So that sounds like you're taking care of yourself. Well, but not, well, not too heavy on the ready meals there. I, I try to avoid it. I just have yeah. like occasionally I have like a pizza from a little yes. shop down the road or something. Yeah. Yeah. But I try not to have it too often. Yeah. Oh, and then sometimes if I'm in town, I might have a McDonald's. But yeah. that's yeah. not not yeah. you know maybe not to. Maybe not every every week. No, that's but. it. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's really good. So I'm gonna make pancakes now for uh, Catherine and Chloe and probably James as well, and uh, we'll show you how those turn out. Bye. Okay, viewers, so to go with the pancakes, I'm going to show you how to make a really nice homemade chocolate sauce. I've got about two thirds of a bar of Bourneville here, um, which I've just chopped up into little pieces, and I'm going to melt this over. I've got a saucepan of boiling water um, on a very gentle heat here, and I'm going to add the Bourneville and just leave it for a couple of minutes. And now I'm going to tell you a huge secret and a huge tip. Don't ever get even a molecule of water in with the chocolate because it just goes nasty. Have you ever had chocolate crispies and you've tried to make them and they're just not set and they've just not gone right? Chances are you didn't quite dry the bowl up properly or you splashed a bit of water in. So that is a bone dry bowl and I'm going to stir the chocolate in a minute with a bone dry spatula. I'm going to use a wooden one. Um, and we're going to add some double cream to that and make an absolutely luxurious sauce to go with the pancakes. So it's beautifully melted now, an absolutely lovely velvety mixture there and I'm going to just add the cream, a little bit there, to make a gorgeous chocolate sauce. Look at that. How lovely is that? And then add a little bit more. Oops, bit of a spill there. We're going to eat this obviously right now, viewers. Um, that's it. It's oh, it's beautiful. It's going to be a lovely, velvety, gorgeous, chocolatey mixture. Oh, look at that now. There we are. Perfect chocolate sauce to go with our pancakes.